Welcome to the photo modeler tutorial for obtaining measurements from a single security camera image with distortion. This is a common forensics task. In this scenario, a box with valuable equipment was stolen from an office. This still from the security camera shows the suspect and the box. This tutorial will show how to determine the height of the suspect along with some other key measurements from this single distorted security camera image. While this example depicts an indoor scene, the same technique can be used for an outdoor security camera, and somewhat similar techniques can be used for non-fixed cameras like a dash cam. When working with a single photo, a set of known 3D XYZ locations must be imported and marked. These XYZ points can come from any 3D measurement system. Typical sources include total station survey, laser scanner, or photogrammetry. In this tutorial, we use photo modeler and a calibrated camera to perform the photogrammetric survey and obtain the required XYZ points. A visit to the scene with a calibrated camera produced this survey. While the project could be completed using existing features and corners, to assist with orienting the photos, coded targets were placed around the room. The steps to complete a coded target project are outlined in the automated coded target tutorial. Manual references and lines were added to define features and edges visible from the security camera. The project is scaled based on measurements taken on site. A surface to match the floor where the suspect was standing was defined, shown in red. This surface is based on coded target sheets placed on the floor, but in some cases could be done with existing corner wall features, or if a tiled floor, with tile corner points. The project's rotation is defined such that the z-axis is pointing up, perpendicular to the surface. The project is exported to create a survey file for use in solving the single security camera image. If the survey was done using a total station or a laser scanner, this starting photogrammetry project would be skipped. While on site conducting the survey, another frame was captured from the security camera. This frame shows additional targets laid out during the survey. If the XYZ survey data had come from a total station or laser scanner, there may not be any target sheets available but an extra frame from the security camera taken at the time of the survey is still useful for quality assurance, QA. This frame, along with the survey data, will be used to solve the security camera's position, camera parameters, and lens distortion. We will show a technique based on the assumption that the security camera has not moved between incident and survey. We show how to check this. If it has moved, or it is not possible to take this extra frame from the security camera, another technique can be used and the existing common features, roof tiles, whiteboard, room and window corners, etc., would be used alone. Start a new manual modeling project. Select the security camera image that shows the survey targets. If there is no security camera image from the time of the survey, the incident image would be loaded here instead. There is no calibration for the camera. It is an unknown camera that will be solved using control points. Open to import the control points. Add a new imported object. Set as control. Add from a file. Browse for the file. The file's units are meters. The project's units are also set to meters. This can be changed at any time. This is a 3D view of the imported data. To make the points easier to see, turn off surface visibility. The first goal is to mark five points spread across the photo so an initial orientation can be done. This is done using Mark Pin Imports mode. Highlight, in green, the point in the External Geometry Explorer. Then mark the point's location on the photo. The marks should be as accurate as possible. Here the image was zoomed using the mouse scroll wheel. Highlight the next point and mark it. Another way to zoom in when marking is by pressing the ALT key. After this fifth point is marked, the project is able to process. The photo has been oriented, had its position solved. 
oriented photos have a camera symbol on their title bar and thumbnail. Open the Visibility on Photos pane. Turn on the visibility of imported 3D lines, and the 3D data will be projected onto the 2D photo. The imported model is now shown superimposed over the photo. The alignment is based on the five current points. Adding more points can improve the solution. It is best if the first five points are placed with a good spread across the image. Reprocess the project with the additional points to see the improved alignment. The solution is better than the initial one, but areas like the edge of the whiteboard do not match. The alignment will be closer in areas where points are marked. After adding points where the alignment was weak, Reprocessing has produced a better solution. Instead of using coded targets, other objects or markers could be used. Strips of tape could create a grid on the wall and floor, or survey targets on tripods could be spread over the scene. These extra locations provide more places for marks and increase the spread across the image. After adding these additional points, the improvement to the solution is minimal. Add some more points to increase the spread across the image and ensure this is the best solution the inverse camera algorithm can produce. Skipping forward, a few more points were added and this is the best solution inverse camera can provide. For low distortion images, this is often sufficient. However, this image has significant distortion. Lines that are straight, such as the walls and whiteboard, are bowed in the image. To account for this, the project is processed with the camera optimization flag turned on. Right now, camera optimization is unavailable. Because there are insufficient points marked on the photo, there are currently 22 points marked. By default, a minimum of 25 points are needed when optimizing the camera parameters. In cases where it is difficult to identify 25 points, this threshold can be lowered on the Preferences dialog. As this scene has enough identifiable features, more points are marked to get over the 25-point threshold. Solving for the lens distortion requires a strong set of points, especially near the high distorting edges of the image. With 25 plus points marked and a good spread across the image, camera optimization can be run. Enable camera optimization. Expanding the camera optimization group shows which camera parameters will be solved. Leave the defaults and run the optimization. Inverse camera comes up with an initial solution, which is then optimized. The result is a noticeably improved alignment. The lines now include the bow of the lens distortion. and the point residuals are lower. Save the project as Lens Distortion Solved.PMR. In addition to the visual alignment check, the solution can be validated by comparing to measurements taken on site. Use Mark Surface Points Line Mode to place a point on the floor below the window ledge. Surface Draw creates a 3D point on the surface under the location of the mouse click. Select the Surface Draw Point and its 3D location can be seen in a 3D view. Open the Properties pane. To get a new 3D point directly above this floor point, a Z-axis offset is used.
For an initial estimate, create the offset 1.7 meters up. The offset appears in 3D. To see it on a photo, adjust the visibility on photos. Turn on Surface Draw 3D Lines. The 1.7 meter line shows the ledge is slightly higher than this. As the offset is adjusted, the new position is shown on the photo. Try 1.75 meters. One point seven five meters is not enough. Try one point seven seven meters. After adjusting the offset height, the ledge is established to be one point seven seven meters above the floor. A photo and a measurement taken at the site confirm the one point seven seven meters height. When the survey of the room was done, the location of the security camera was identified and its XYZ location solved. Turning on camera station visibility shows the solved camera location is close to the surveyed location of the camera. Photo modeler solves the location of the camera at the time of each shot. The photo and the project taken by the security camera at the time of the survey means the location and orientation of the security camera is solved as well. We can now compare the solved location with the marked survey location to see if they match. For example, if the survey was a laser scan that including the security camera, you could see if the solved location of the camera by Photomodeler and the laser scan location matched. The solved camera location and point will not always be exact, but should be reasonably close. As one additional QA measure, a simulation was done with a person of known height. During the survey, an image was taken with the security camera of this person standing in a similar location to the suspect. Since the security camera has not changed, we can substitute this new photo. Right-click and choose Properties of Selected Photo. Select the Image File Name property. This enables Replace Photo, Retain Orientation. Select a new image taken from the same position. This image shows the same survey setup, but also includes a test subject. A similar technique will be used with the crime scene image. Check the alignment of items to ensure the camera did not move between images. Add a surface draw point at the test subject's feet. Select the surface draw point and add on an offset to measure the subject. The subject is known to be 1.84 meters tall. The projected 3D location of the point, offset vertically from the floor pane by 1.84 meters, lines up with the top of the test subject's head, thereby giving additional verification of the solution. Using the same steps, replace the image with the photo of the crime scene. The lighting in this image is not very good, but the Image Enhance tool can improve it. The survey targets were not in place at the time of the incident. The marks on those targets will appear on this new photo, but the marks do not correspond to anything in this photo and can be ignored. However, check that the alignment of the other features is still good. Here the lines all match well. If they did not match, it means the camera moved before the survey was done. This type of project can still be solved. Instead of marking the surveyed targets, existing features, corners, roof tiles, etc., that have not moved would be used. Add a surface draw point at the subject's feet. Add a vertical offset. Using the previously measured check heights as a guide, estimate the subject's height at 1.9 meters. 1.9 meters looks a bit tall. Based on this view, the subject is estimated to be 1.88 to 1.89 meters tall, approximately 6 feet 2 inches. The dimensions of the box can also be confirmed.
Upon recovery, the box in question was confirmed to be 1.03 meters. In addition to getting heights of objects and people, horizontal placement of objects on surfaces can also be determined in this single photo project. Surface draw is used again. The extents of the box on the ground can be marked and measured. Open the measure pane to find the lengths of these new lines. Zero point four four five meters wide by zero point three eight meters deep by one point zero three meters high. The box found in the suspect's possession matched the forty five by thirty eight by one hundred three centimeters measured here. Other horizontal measurements could include the distance between the metal object on the floor and the box. The top of the table, visible in both the crime scene photo and the survey, was also modeled with the surface. This surface plane was included in the survey import file. The 3D position of this object on the table can also be measured, based on the survey table surface. Each screen window, showing these results, can be output to a file or printer. and the full 3D model can be exported in a variety of formats. Starting with a single security camera image, a scene survey was imported and used to solve the camera position, parameters, and distortion. The solution was used to obtain measurements of height, size, and location of objects in the crime scene photo. Various QA tests were done to prove our assumptions. Lastly, the key measurement of the suspect's height was obtained.